All right, let's start our program for tonight. My name is Amin Statia. I'm the gala chair. I'm a board member of the American Task Force on Palestine. On behalf of our board, I welcome you to our fifth annual gala, Building Palestine, the Indispensable State for Peace. Our MC for tonight is Mr. Hisham Milham, the Bureau Chief of Al Arabiya. Mr. Hussein Ibish, our, MC, our supposed MC, couldn't make it tonight. However, Mr. Milham was grateful enough and thankful. We are very thankful for him and appreciate that he, is, that he came on such short notice. Mr. Milham, if you don't mind. Thank you, Amin. Good evening. My name is Hisham Melham, and I'm not usually don't MC events like this or any events, but tonight uh, I was recruited by Ziad and Naila, and uh, there's always an exception, so here I am. Uh, If you wonder by my hand, I have a story, but I can't tell you. I don't, I don't think we have enough time. Uh, welcome to this fifth annual gala of the task, American Task Force on Palestine. This has become a tradition where every year, Palestinian Americans, Palestinians, and their friends get together to celebrate the achievements of American Palestinians in the fields of arts, science, medicine, literature, uh, you name it. Tonight, we will be celebrating in poetry and we will be celebrating in prose because we have Naomi Shehab Nye, an accomplished poet, and we have... <laughs> and we have Betty Shamir, who's uh, an accomplished playwright, Tonight also, we will celebrate public service. We will celebrate courage, military courage, because we are celebrating or honoring Peter Mansour, Colonel Peter Mansour. <laughs> Finally, we are celebrating business acumen and business excellence, in, which is personified in our uh, uh, honoree, uh, Hassan Salami. And of course, you will hear from Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in a few minutes. Um, <laughs> you don't have the opportunity of listening to Hillary Clinton every night. Come on, folks. You know, people say uh, these are, I mean, you can always say these are interesting times for the Palestinians, but in their long struggle, for statehood, for freedom, for independence, Palestinians have always lived through interesting, albeit painful times. And tonight we are celebrating the achievements of these four Palestinian Americans. But I think you all know that the real celebration will happen when Palestinians, whether those who are holed up in Gaza under siege or in the West Bank, who are watching their very land being taken away from them, or those who are languishing in refugee camps, or that whole Palestinian diaspora in the whole world, when, when that day will come when they will celebrate their empowerment in their own nation, enjoy independence and democracy, uh, and living with peace, in peace with, uh, with their neighbors. This is the time we will all celebrate Uh, but tonight we will focus on four honorees, and uh, uh, I need to do some uh, house cleaning, I guess, uh, house, housekeeping. We, the, the, uh, you, you see these giant uh, screens behind me on both sides. Uh, you will see uh, aspects of Palestinian life in every, in every field, so please enjoy that. 
I also would like to remind you that we have a silent auction outside. There are beautiful pieces of art. So take a look, enjoy the art, and pull up a wallet and write a check. I mean, this is always a good thing to do. I never thought in my life that I'll be uh, raising funds for anybody. But there's always a first, I guess. And I think uh, before the secretary comes in with Ziad, um, let's recognize uh, the board of the directors of the um, American Task Force on Palestine. So those of you who are in this room, please stand up so that we'll give you a, a nice hand. <laughs> 